Guys, as you can see here, I have both uh, the original RTL SDR. This is the original one. I just connected this uh, SMA to BNC because I was testing. And this I received last week. In fact, uh, after I ordered this, I realized I made a mistake that this is a clone. And uh, uh, see, four screws. And somehow I didn't have this information before prior to ordering. So I placed an order and immediately I realized my mistake. Then I didn't want to take a chance, so I ordered this uh, from uh, local Amazon. It was expensive, but it arrived in a day. And I'm pretty happy with it. It works very well. This is the original. I can, as you can see, it has a label, the two screws, and it is the form factor is a little different. And I have not opened any of these, so it is working well. I have tested, uh, I think, uh, about 1.5 gigahertz, and uh, with a signal, I have tested it works well. It works on HF. I also have put uh, bandpass filters, um, even notch filter for uh, medium wave. That way I was able to test all frequencies, uh, medium wave, HF, air band, ham bands and all that. And I'm a licensed amateur radio operator, so I do know the bands. <laughs> and this one I received just now about an hour ago. And uh, this is the packaging. Uh, it came in band good. It was actually double packed, so it was in this, and then that was placed uh, in this one. Very good, like, as you can see. So now I just now tested this. Weight-wise, actually, you can't make out much difference; almost the same. Form factor is different, and it is written here, as you can see. It is written. Uh, it is uh, having the TCXO, bias T, and HF. Well, I was I did not test the bias T. I didn't have to go so far. Uh, even in this, in fact, I have not tested the bias T. Uh, I can think of that later. At the moment, I, it's not a requirement for me because I do have outboard amplifiers, LNAs, uh, where I can feed external power supply. So bias T is not really a uh, something that I'm that I'll miss even if it doesn't have. So forgetting that. The TCXO and HF, as written here, it does not work. Simple as that. Uh, it, the screen doesn't show when I adjust the PPM, so you won't be able to see that. But now it is at 66 plus 66. So there is a known uh, aircraft uh, frequency where they, I think it's a tr the Toronto aircraft uh, frequency uh, from the airport. Uh, that frequency is a known frequency, as you can see there. And to get that, I had to do a plus 66 in this one. Whereas this one, automatically, when I tune to that frequency, it goes there directly. And I'm able to receive uh, full scale. So without any issues. So this is the original one. Whereas in the, in the clone, I need to adjust the, uh, the clock, the, the PPM level uh, to get. Uh, to receive that signal. So that is an indication that uh, there is no TCXO and it is wrong. It is incorrect. That is number one. Number two, later uh, in the video, you will see that when I go to HF, there is no signal heard at all. And the direct sampling in this does not work. Although it says version 3, they have just copied it. You know, version 3 is supposed to work on direct sampling for HF below, I think, 25 megahertz. So even though it says version 3 here, it says here HF, it does not work on HF. So this is not good. This product is not good, not what they claim here at all. If they had not written all this, I agree. Price is okay. But having written all this, version 3 and all this, and if it does not work, then this is garbage. This is garbage. Banggood, please make note of this. This is garbage. Thank you.